Two years ago, we built the best PC for virtual production. Wow, look at how amazing this mega ultra PC that we built is. Since then, we've watched the virtual production industry grow and evolve a bit. Today, we present to you the newest, best, top of the line, number one rated PC for virtual production. At Copilot, we mainly focus on all things virtual production. From custom environments, 3D builds, LED stage operations, and integration and solutions for XR virtual production stage builds. Oh, and most recently, making this whole process a little easier and more user-friendly with the help of AI and machine learning. For all our needs, we've pretty much gotten away with just one supercomputer. But as the industry has grown and become more demanding, we've realized we need a little bit more processing power. First off, we've got to outdo the specs of our prior build. Last time, we used a lot of top of the line gear, but there are more improvements we plan on making. This machine is going to be multi-purpose, covering everything from data processing to stage control. It's got to be portable because we want to bring it on the road with us and be able to plug and play with any stage. This means it'll have to be in a rack stand or a road case. And finally, it's got to have a good name. Since the last one was called The Beast, we didn't really have much of a choice other than to name this one Beauty. You know, Beauty and the Beast, the, the Disney animated film. At the heart of every computer, there lies a CPU. Last time, we had the 3990X Threadripper. While it's been great, it just doesn't have enough processing power for what we need to do in the future. And while it's done the job, we're gonna be throwing even more at this computer. So we need a bigger heart and a little more power to push those renders to the next level. This time, we went even bigger, upgrading to the Threadripper 5995WX, currently the highest rated workstation CPU on the market. It's perfect for the amount of VFX and data processing work we have planned. Special thanks to AMD for sending us this incredible piece of technology. Now it's time for the motherboard. Last time, we went with Asus, so we thought we'd give them another try. However, this time we have a bigger CPU, which means we can't go with the traditional TRX motherboard. We had to go with the WRX 80E version. The last motherboard we got could only handle 256 gigabytes. The best part about this motherboard, it's capable of handling up to two terabytes of RAM. Two terabytes. The virtual production industry loves NVIDIA RTX A6000s. We love them so much, we had to get two. Two. With their 48 gigabytes of designated RAM each, there is seemingly no limit to what they're able to process. RAM is RAM. It's all very similar, but there are a few very reliable brands out there. So find one you like and stick with it. We were looking for RAM that was CL16 and 3200 megahertz. So for reliability and price point, we went with the Kingston Fury Beast RAM. 128 gigabytes. For now. For blazing hot read and write speeds, we went with the same SSD as last time. The Samsung 980 Pro 2 terabytes. Because we were building a mobile workstation, we needed everything to fit into a server chassis, which are typically designed to be a lot smaller, which is great if the workstation parts weren't so big. We needed to find an extended ATX case that also fit into a rack tower properly. But let me tell you, that is nearly impossible to find in general let alone in Canada, where we are. On top of that, finding information or even a customer review with our usage in mind made shopping for the right case even more difficult. Some cases were affordable and would fit, but look how much they would stick out of a rack tower. Guys, we're calling this workstation beauty. We can't have it be ugly. So after days of searching and ordering a few of the wrong cases, we settled for this. The Silverstone RM42 EATX EEB chassis. This case is sleek, has built-in cooling, and tons of room for expansion. Noxua has been great to us the last two years, keeping us at a steady temperature regardless of how far we push our CPU. So to fit it into our case and work with the extra wide CPU, we went with the Noxua NH U9 double fan. Double fan, double fan. Paired with the built-in cooling in the case 
and considering that we have additional components going into the rack as well, we'll be monitoring the temperature of this unit and supplementing it with additional built-in fans as well as additional rack mounted cooling systems as needed. If you've been staring at our messy wiring job this whole time, so have we. All of our hardware totaled by wattage is roughly 1300 to 1400 watts. So for this build, we went with an EVGA 1600 watt titanium. Why titanium? Simply because it's the most efficient PSU radium. And with a build this powerful, every bit of efficiency counts. If you're wondering what the differences between PSUs are when it comes to gold, platinum, and titanium, simply put, it's just an energy savings radium, but also has to do with the quality of components inside. Is it necessary to buy titanium all the time? No. But because we leave this computer on for hours on end, sometimes days to render, the savings and peace of mind is worth it. And with that, I actually don't know how this closes. A few moments later. Now we got our virtual production workstation mounted in our rack tower. To finish off this rack, let's add a few more components. In order to make this workstation the most portable and versatile, we've added a few components to make it work for both green screen and LED virtual production. The first component is the Ultimat 12 4K. Huge shout out to our partners at Blackmagic for sending this to us. It has been incredible to use so far and we are so excited to continue to use it on our mobile workstation. The Ultimat is for our green screen workflow. What it allows us to do is take the environments that we generate in Unreal Engine put it through the Ultimat and allows us to key green screen in real time. How cool is that? And that leads us to our next component, the HyperDeck 4K. The HyperDeck can be used for both green screen and LED virtual production. What the HyperDeck does is records the live key that's coming from the Ultimat right onto an SSD. So we can pull this out and start editing on the fly. The third component that brings all of these Blackmagic pieces together is the Blackmagic DeckLink 8K. It actually hasn't arrived yet, so when it comes in, we'll install it. What that does is takes the SDI output from your camera, runs it through Unreal Engine, and allows you to output it into the Ultimat and the HyperDeck. All three of these essential components are made by Blackmagic. Without these components, indie or professional virtual production would not be possible. And that's it. That is our mobile virtual production workstation.